What do you think is better than one beautiful number three wharf? That's the large wharf, the Lux Martin Committee. What if I said we have two of them in stock? Two. Stay tuned to this video. I'm going to do both of these horns and uh, tell you about them. This is going to be super fun. Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. I hope you're having a fantastic day out there today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with us. We have so many cool videos coming out, like this video of this unbelievably amazing deluxe Martin Committee, but not just one of them. Two. Two of them. So, um, just to give you a heads up on these Martins, these are consignment horns from uh, a customer of ours and they are in great shape this one is in raw brass this one has a serial number uh, in the sweet spot I think of Martin's pre 200,000 this is in the 160,000 range um, it has been worked on you'll see some uh, um, marks on the bell and uh, some some repair marks on the back bell bow and uh, the horn itself plays just wonderfully. Martin large bore trumpets are pretty much considered one of the holy grail trumpets. And the deluxe models have the nickel trim, as you can see. So you can see that, that detailed nickel trim. And then they also have, uh, you might not be able to see it as much on here, that deluxe engraving. You can see it a little bit better on this horn, which is a lacquered version. So this horn is uh, 200,000, 201, and this horn has, um, I think this is an original shape uh, because it does have a browning of the lacquering. It could have been overhauled, but then it was overhauled a long time ago. Um, this one is in really great shape. This does have nickel inner slides versus the brass inner slides on the other model. This is right around the period that they sold their company to the Richards company. And uh, by doing that, they changed um, some of the design characteristics. In fact, I just got from my co own collection a uh, medium bore deluxe committee that is just spectacular. Um, so this horn, I'm, I've got my mouthpiece in this one. I'll start with this, and then I'll play the other one. Um, I'm using my TA1 mouthpiece on this video, and then I'll do some um, commercial stuff, because surprisingly, these horns actually play really nicely with a high compression mouthpiece. Um, you're not going to really want to play uh, orchestral excerpts on a Martin Committee. That's not the vibe of the horn. So I'm just going to stay to playing, uh, you know, some small group jazz style. But it would actually work in a in a big band section as well. Um, this mic is a few feet away, totally raw, unedited. <laughs> This one that I'm recording is the later of the two committees, the one that is the lacquered version. Let me put that one down safely and then grab the other one. I'm gonna switch my mics again.
Of the two, I, I like both of them equally well. This one seems a little darker, and I think that's probably has to do with the, the non-nickel. But having a brighter committee is actually probably, in some aspects, a little bit better because the hornet's so dark when you play it anyways. Um, it's very much like a cornet. Uh, I'm going to move this one more time, this mic. I've got a new camera. And it's smart technology, and sometimes it moves, sometimes it doesn't. So you can see it. I don't know. I'm always a gearhead, folks, but um, I, I I like them both, and they're both, you know, like I said, they're, they're these horns that are um, universally known as Holy Grail horns, where I'm shocked we even have one in stock, and we have two, two of them. So um, let me do a little articulation. I'll start with the, the earlier model. That's the raw brass model. Sorry, the camera is following me a little bit, but um, I do want to say that um, this horn might, uh, for me, play a little bit better, but the other one might sound a little darker. What do you hear on the video? Let me play a, a ballad. Uh, I'm going to play a little bit of Body Soul. I'll start on the lacquered version and then go to the raw version. Follow me. The raw brass. Both sound very, very great. The uh, both horns play great. Again, they're Martins, so they're just they're just awesome horns. You can see my lips getting red. It's because I've been playing a lot of my silver mouthpiece, and I'm allergic to silver. Um, we got a new mouthpiece in TA1 L2. It's an awesome setup. So let me just uh, switch and play some commercial stuff on these. Starting with the raw brass, the earlier one. So there you go, a little tour de Martin. 
If you've been looking for a deluxe committee, you have your choice now. There'll be links in this video description. This one is the lacquered one, and then we have that raw brass one as well. Thanks so much for watching all of these videos. We appreciate you so very much. Hit that subscribe button wherever it might be, and thanks so much for your support for ACB. Keep on keeping on. Cheers.